Jeep is on a sales tear these days with its popularity growing around the world. Why? Well, one reason is they realize that not all Jeep owners want to risk their lives and their Jeep hanging out where the dinosaurs once roamed. Fine, but here in Moab, Utah, it is simply Jeep country. This is where the hardcore Jeep owners and wannabes come to off-road and it's big business. And look at these mountains, they are simply breathtaking, spectacular. How old are they? Well, they tell us if you look carefully, you can actually find dinosaur tracks. They are that old. Now we're out here. Why are we out here, Dan? Uh, the new Jeep, Brad. The new Jeep. Don't get disappointed. It's not the new Jeep Gladiator that was unveiled at the LA Auto Show. It's not the Wrangler or the Rubicon or even the Grand Cherokee Limited that Graham was driving just a few weeks ago. No, we're out here to check. Well, it is a Cherokee, but it's what Jeep is hoping is not only the new, but the improved Trailhawk. All right, back driver just a little bit. Perfect. It really is Jeep capital of the world. It's like a pet almost. They become members of the family and like we name all of ours. And I'm not the only one who does that. <laughs> um, and it is a community of people. Yeah, I didn't see any of them have any problems no. on that. A little throttle, but nothing I was concerned about. Yeah, it's big. I was surprised too. This is my first time in Moab and you're right. Driving through the town, it's Jeep, 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 and they're all lifted and um, you know, it, it, it tells me that the people who live this lifestyle and come out here and want to go off-road and do this stuff, they trust our Jeep vehicles uh, to let them do that and to get them there. We're on the Seven Mile Rim Trail, which is just fantastic because it offers a little bit of everything, a lot of variety. Obviously, the, the Jeep is uh, the most capable vehicle that you can put out here on these rocks. You're going to have your driver's tires over here. It is pretty cool that you can get a vehicle that, you know, you buy it off the showroom floor, you don't have to do a whole lot for it, and you can get through a whole lot of terrain that most basic SUVs aren't going to get you through. They've got some off-road chops. The driveline is really the centerpiece of the, of the vehicle. Uh, the vehicles all have great power, uh, great, great uh, engine and powertrains, but the driveline is really what makes a Trailhawk capable, and it, it's really what's important about these vehicles. On our Grand Cherokees, we've got the uh, Pentastar V6, we've got our legendary Hemi V8. On the Cherokees, we got the a V6 option, a turbocharged I-4 engine. On a Compass, we have a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder. All Jeeps are incredibly capable when it comes to going off-road, but some are a cut above, and that's what the Trailhawk uh, model is. The vehicle is trail rated, and what trail rated means is it's got to excel in five categories. Maneuverability, traction, uh, water fording capability, uh, articulation, and uh, ground clearance. So there's a Trailhawk configuration on every model in the Jeep family. So you can get a Trailhawk on a, a Renegade, a Compass, um, a Cherokee, and a, a Grand Cherokee. So in Canada, we, we sell a lot of Cherokee Trailhawks. It's the most po popular model. Um, I think it's probably the best looking model, and I think uh, that's why uh, uh, people are gravitating to it. You're good. Keep coming. How do you distinguish the Trailhawk in the Cherokee family? It's in the front, look for those red tow hooks, but it's in the back that I have a beef with all utility vehicles. I mean, you wanna throw in some golf clubs in this baby? You gotta put the back seat down. That's called a compromise. That might be good in a marriage, but not when you're packing up the family, the kids and the luggage. But what do I know? Utility vehicles today are outselling cars, killing the sedan market, which is a shame because a lot of those new sedans are far superior when it comes to utility. I like a lot of them. I mean, I love the Grand Cherokee and I like the Cherokee way more than I thought. I think the Compass struggles a little bit, you know, in this kind of terrain, in this kind of environment. It's fine for people that, you know, aren't gonna be using it for a real serious nature, but the Grand Cherokee and the Cherokee itself, they're, you know, they're, they live up to the Jeep name for sure. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, let the back tires down nice and slow. It's great to see people's eyes light up, the things they get to see, the things they get to do, that their vehicle can do, that they can do, just amaze themselves and have so much fun.
these things are meant to go off-road. They're the real deal. And the engineering and design work that goes into these vehicles, uh, that badge on the side, that trail rated badge means something. Uh, you have to earn that. I think uh, uh, based on you know the number of uh, sales we, we, we have with these vehicles, I think uh, our Jeep consumers agree. Now I only got to drive the Cherokee Trailhawk today with a two liter turbo, but that combined with the new transmission is one sweet combination. Now you know, Dwight Eisenhower once said that the Jeep, the Dakota, which was the airplane and landing craft were the three tools that won World War II. And maybe that's just one of the many reasons that this brand has been around since 1941 and why today so many young people think that the Jeep lifestyle is kind of cool. On or off-road.